SpongeBob. Da -da -da -da. I'm just gonna stop you right there, Squidward. Spare you the oxygen. We all know you weaker folk can't afford to waste it. All right, folks, listen up, because I'm only gonna say this once. Tough guys don't like to repeat themselves. I'm talking to you, Grandma! Now, I suppose all of you are wondering how I got this black eye. Not really. Stop why you said that! Was it you, Grandma? It was me. I said it. Well, folks, I don't happen to see it as a shiner, so much as a shining trophy of my glorious triumph over the forces of evil. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Who in the name of Neptune would want to tangle with a guy like SpongeBob SquarePants? Well, I'll tell you who. It was a peaceful morning in Bikini Bottom. I emerged from my fruit-shaped bungalow, fresh as a bee, when a wanton cry of distress pounded against my eardrum. Hold it, sponges don't have eardrums. He's right. Hey, let's save all the questions until the end. As I was saying, I quickly located the source of the cry, which was a victim tied at my feet. Don't worry, I'll save you, I assured, when a large bowling pin struck me in the face. The hurler was none other than Jack and Crazy Fish. And I could tell by that cold sore on his lip that today he meant business. With cat-like reflexes, I preempted his attack. But the scoundrel had me sabotaged, and I fell face down on a pile of extra large staples. He lunged at me, but I got him in the ribs with my novelty feather duster. Down he fell like a mighty oak. And there he lay. The very thought of being vanquished made Jack and Crazy Fish burst into tears. The force of his crying was so strong, I had to take his face of action. But one of the blasts went haywire and hit me right in the face. And that's how I got this black eye. By giving Jack and Crazy Fish the whopping of a lifetime. Woo! Football! Uh, what did you say he looked like again? Oh, kind of tall, handlebar mustache. A little green hat. I kind of thought it was teal, but that sounds like him, all right. Wait a second, how did you know he was wearing a green hat? <gasps> He's real. I'm looking for SpongeBob. Mr. Crazy Fish, please don't skin me alive. I made all that stuff up. I was just kidding about whopping you. <laughs> right, folks? You remember. I part where you told us how he was crying like a baby. Hi, Gary. All right, look, I had a toothpaste tube like this, but I couldn't get it open because the cap was stuck. And I guess I haven't been working my arms out that much lately, so I opened it up like this. Then I was walking like this, and I didn't see where the cap went like this, so I slipped on it and I landed right on my branch like this. And I gave myself a black eye like this. Like these. So you see, I made it all up so I could keep from looking stupid. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, not really. I'm here because I heard you make a really good Krabby Patty. One super hot and delicious custom order Krabby Patty with extra sauce, my lord. Served directly to your waiting fellow of... Head and neck area. Sir, please, I am so sorry. Where I'm, I'm from, sorry, don't cut it. We settle things in a different kind of way. Ha <laughs> ha